Hi guys, so I'm back home. Um, but while I was up north, I made a painting and I wasn't going to show the video. And I thought, you know, maybe I will show the video. You know, it could be fun for somebody. It's just a short clip of um, some pears. And you've probably already seen them in the thumbnail. But, but anyway, I also wanted to respond to somebody who had asked me about my travel brush and the fact that I was complaining in the bird the bird video colorful bird video I just did about how it's bent at the top here um, and that happens usually when my brushes start to wear out or if they got clipped into something um, where they were bent for a while. Now, I don't think this would do that. It goes up to here, and it has that much clearance at the tip. So I don't think that was the problem. Um, but anyway, I think it's wearing out. And I only bought this brush last spring and used it primarily for plein air painting. I do use it a little bit for indoor. Um, it's a softer synthetic brush and it feels like real fur and sometimes I treat it like real fur. I've always babied it but somehow I'm wearing it down and I think it was from dipping in pans. But somebody asked me, can you just trim it? Can you just take some scissors and trim it off? It's not that simple and I'm going to attach a video down into the description that shows you exactly what goes into making of a paintbrush. Some people say, wow, they're so expensive. But watch this video that I'm going to share with you. It'll be in the description. It's on the Da Vinci paintbrushes. I just chose Da Vinci, no particular reason except that it was a good video, well made. And it's pretty much across the board how they make their brushes. So I was going to um, have you guys watch that because it is so good. And I'm going to go ahead and show my other painting from my weekend up north. I am working on this seagull that isn't turning out all that great. But um, I'm going to try to fix it either tonight or tomorrow. And then I'll post that one. But anyway, um, oh, and my shirt. What do you think? I got a YouTube shirt. Isn't that cute? It says subscribe, so don't forget to subscribe. But check out the back. This is the cool part. My artwork is on my back. I don't know if I can get it. Let me point it down a little bit more. And it's got my address and my artwork. That's a pastel painting that I did a few years ago. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I like it. I thought it was cute. And I have another one that I'm going to get that is a um, three-quarter sleeve t-shirt that just says YouTuber on it. But I love these YouTube shirts. They're so adorable. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and post that pear painting. And you guys can watch it. It's just quick, simple. I did it in hyperlapse mode, so it's going to be quick. But I will try to explain as much as I can while it's happening. So it was difficult for me <clears throat> only because I was painting upright on my plein air easel, which I was doing again today with the seagull. And I happened to run into a few problems, so it's not done. But here's the pairs that I did. So if you'd like to see this, then just stay tuned. And if you want to see the bird painting, that one was posted yesterday. You can go back or I'll post it at the end of my, my video for you. So anyway, everybody have a terrific day. Paint with wild abandon. Have courage and be kind to people. Bye-bye. Oh, you want to see? You want to come up and see? You can come up here. Say hi to the people. Yes, there's my baby. Yes, everybody loves you. No, you can't slip me the tongue. <laughs> okay, well, I got to talk fast here because I don't have much time. This clip goes fast. I'm basically just drawing in some pairs that I found online. I used Nicolazo Yellow and um, Hansa, Hansa Yellow Medium was the brighter color. And then um, I also used Quinacridone Red and Lizarin Crimson was my deeper red and Burnt Umber for the stems, painting those in. But when I was working upright, I was having trouble keeping the white of the paper. So in the end, I ended up using some white gouache to put that back in. It was just a fun, simple thing to do after I had finished those birds and 
Um, now I'm just putting in a background with some greens and blues, which I think help to contrast. The green helps bring out the red. The blues are more of an, you know, blue-orange kind of a complementary thing, but that works well with the pairs being yellow and red. And then mixing them all together. So that was basically it. And um, you can watch it back again and try it yourself. So here are my pears. Unfortunately, I was having problems um, because I'm on this incline. Um, I'm still trying to get used to this angle and I was losing my whites. So I had to use a little bit of gouache on the pears. But that's it. I'm going to stamp it and I'm going to put my note on and that will be it. And I did this again in my Pentalic Aqua Journal, which works so much better than the other books. I just love, love, love these blue aqua journals. These, minus the stickers, of course. Pentalic Aqua Journal. You can find them on Amazon. But anyway, um, so this, these are my pairs. And everybody, um, have a great day. Paint with courage and wild abandon and be kind to each other. Bye-bye.